Leon. Thank you for joining me in episode number four of Fun With Numbers. I will be starting Circle Time and you will be able to see Cindy later on and she will be showing you some cool activities for children. Okay, so let's start our Circle Time. So we will begin our circle by showing our hand. Can you show number five with your hand? Ready? One, two, three, four, five. Let's count again. One, two, three, four, five. Let's listen to the first song and please look at the window to see the movements. Thank you. Okay. Here we go. One and two, three and four, five, 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 five. One and two, three and four, five, 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 five. You can also sing that in your home language. Great singing, everybody. Now we're going to be singing the song, How Many Fingers on One Hand. After we sing with one hand, we're gonna be doing both hands, and then we're gonna be clapping together. Remember to please listen to the music and look on the window to see the movement. Here we go. How many fingers on one hand? How many fingers on one hand? How many fingers on one hand? Let's all count together. One, two, how many fingers we have on both hands. Here we go. How many fingers on both hands? How many fingers on both hands? How many fingers on both hands? Let's all count together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now we're going to clap our hands together. Ready? Clap, clap, clap your hands, clap, clap, clap your hands, clap, clap, clap your hands, clap your hands together. Yay! Thank you for singing that song with me. Okay, let's count how many butterflies we see on the screen. Here we go. One little, two little, three little butterflies, four little, five little, six little butterflies, seven little, eight little, nine little butterflies, ten little butterflies flying all around. One little, two little, three little butterflies, four little, five little, six little butterflies, seven little, eight little, nine little butterflies, ten little butterflies flying all around. Yay! For singing that song with me. For our book time, we are going to be reading How Many Bugs in a Box. So come and read with me. How Many Bugs in a Box, a pop-up counting book by David A. Carter. How many bugs are in the red box? One. One tough bug. How many bugs are in the polka dot box? One, two. Two polka dot bugs. How many bugs are in the tall box? One, two, three. Three pretty bugs. How many bugs are in the small box? One, two, three, four. Four fast fleas. How many bugs are in the blue box? One, two, three, four, five. Five mellow yellow fish bugs and a monster. 
How many bugs are in the green box? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six hungry frog bugs. How many bugs are in the floating box? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There are seven space bugs. How many bugs are in the square box? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There are eight noodle bugs. How many bugs are in the thin box? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine very long net bugs. How many bugs are in the wooden box? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There are ten saw bugs. Careful, don't let them out. Let's lock it. The end. Thank you families for joining me in the circle time portion of episode 4's Fun with Numbers. Now let's see what Cindy has for us for activities. Hello families, my name is Cindy. Thank you for joining Fun with Number episode 4. Today we are going to use clothespins to do a few different activities. The first activity is number cups. Here's what we need. So we need five cups. You can use plastic cup or paper cup. We need a clear tape. We need curved pins and a marker and a pair of scissors and a piece of paper. So now we're going to write the number. So one, two, three, four, five on a piece of paper. Then you cut it out. So we're going to cut it out. You're going to cut the number out from the paper and tape it on the cup like this. So this is one, this is two, this is three, and this is number four, and this is five. So now you're going to ask the kids, right, to see what number is on the cup. So this is number one, and then you're going to put one, Twelve pins on the cup. So for number two, you put two. And number three, and then you're going to put three. And here's four, number four, and then you're going to put four. One, two, three, four. And for the number five, and then you're going to put five. One, two, three, four, five. So for this activity, so children will learn how to recognize the numbers and counting the clove pins and also enhance their fine motor skill by open and close the clove pins. The second activity is a number matching counting wheel. So we'll need a piece of cardboard a pair of scissors, 10 curve pins, markers, a ruler, and stickers if you have it at home. So now we're going to cut a big circle 
out of the cardboard. And using markers and rulers to divide the circle into 10 sections. Then we'll get some stickers and put one sticker on the first section put two sticker on the second section and three sticker on the first section and so on until the tenth section finished or if you don't have stickers at home you can draw together with your child you can ask them what they want to draw too for example if they say I want apple then you can draw one apple and two banana or three circle and so on until you finish the 10th section now you're going to write the number 1 to 10 on the clove pins so this is how it look after that and then you're going to ask the child to count the number of stickers on each section so and find the matching clove pins and clip it on so one sticker and then you're going to put clove pin one here and two sticker and then you put two and counting three and then three and four and five and six and seven eight nine ten so this activity help children practice recognizing number on the clove pins and also counting the objects on the wheel and matching the number and the objects and also enhance their fine motor skill by open and close the clove pins so here's the last activity, clothes pin shapes. We'll need painted tape and clothes pins. So use tape to make different shapes like triangle, circle, square. And you can make rectangle and diamond shapes. You can tape all the shapes on the table or on the floor. So here's a triangle. Now you can ask your child to put the clothes pins on top of the triangle and ask them how many clothes pin they use to make the triangle 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so these activities also helps the children to learn about shapes and counting hope you will try all these activities with your child at home Thank you for watching. Have fun. Bye-bye.